Are we rolling? Okay, go. Hey everyone, and welcome back to This Week in Bone Lab. It is week two, and the feedback on the first episode has been very positive so far, so thank you all very much for the support. And today, it is the Halloween special. That's right, this week's going to be mostly Halloween themed, plus a few extra bonuses from other creators. First off, you may be asking, where are we? Well, we're in the demonstration map by Origani. On top of that, we've seen some sightings of some strange zombies in this area. Evidence and video footage seems to match these up to the old zombie mod by Fiddlebones. Some scary stuff, but realistically there's nothing to be scared of. Right? Hey. What? Oh, oh shit, oh! Oh, no! Oh. Let's kick off this week with a banger. So once again, I'm sure you all remember the dev map we saw in the latest update from Stress Level Zero. Ever wanted to play on this map? Well, now you can because Nolnon, Evro, and Atlas have ported it to the game, plus a bunch of extra cool secrets like keycard rooms and all sorts of stuff you can mess around with. This map now lives up to the name of just being a great sandbox map, on top of it being a really awesome port in the first place. It is officially out now, go and download it. And can I just say that this map is the most official looking mod map I've ever seen and I absolutely love it. Absolute shout outs to these three for making this amazing mod map. I won't spoil too much of the secrets for you, but there's one more thing to do with this map. Nonon actually gave us an exclusive look into the development of this map. And here we have a really awesome dev clip that didn't make it to the final version of the map because it would be way too unstable. But it's a thing that just clones your avatars over and over again. And you can interact with these avatars, you can change their body logs and things start to get really messed up. I think this is really funny and of course it couldn't be put into the final version of the map. But man, this looks really fun to mess with. For those of you that don't know, Lakatraz has been porting the entirety of Duck Season into Bone Lab. Yep, that in itself is absolutely insane. But recently we got a Halloween update dev clip from him. And here you can see the Ford early exit zombies are now in Duck Season. What's going on? Looks as if there will be some extra Halloween game mode where you get to just have a shootout with a bunch of zombies and play almost tower defense in Duck Season in Bone Lab. What is this anymore? I don't know, but this is really awesome. And Lakatraz is incredibly talented. I'll definitely be updating you guys on when the Duck Season port comes out. Oh. <laughs> Bone Lab is getting even more creepier, and some of you might be familiar with the old Boneworks mod, Paranoia. This was a horror mod for the Blank Box map. What if I told you there was a Bone Lab alternative to this, the baseline horror map, this being Paranoia again, this time made by Soul With May. There is a version of this mod that is already out, but this mod development clip here shows us that they are implementing new things that the weird entities in this horror map can do. Looks as if this floating face, which is called the Paralyzer, can actually paralyze you and come towards you, which is terrifying. And I'm not playing this mod, not by myself. Someone play it with me. God forbid what people are going to be capable of when the next level SDK update comes out. Oh my god. Well, would you look at this. The Soviet made me an entire studio map in-game for this week in Bone Lab. This is so cool. We're two episodes in and somebody has already made me a damn whole map. I'm very grateful and it's got some pretty cool features. So thank you very much to the Soviet. And on top of that, look what I can do. 
It's got a whole backstage area with a toggleable green screen and a few little spawned in props. Pretty awesome, right? Once again, massive shout out to the Soviet for making me this map. This is the last thing I expected to just get a map for free in Bone Lab. This is really cool. Thank you so much again. And let's move on to our next mod. Oh, the ragdoll flipped to finish it off. Look, I got the right joystick. <laughs> <laughs> next up, we have a pretty small story map by Everything on Arm. This is Old Myth. Consists of a few dark rooms and corridors. It looks as if this is kind of a little demo for this little radio player thing where you can actually play hidden tapes in the level. So far, there's a few big rooms and a vent you can crawl through in pitch black with no music. I'll be honest, it's kind of scary. For what is quite a simple map, it definitely gave me chills, especially in this last segment. So this makes me scared for what everything on arm is capable of if he goes full on into a whole level. We will see in the future. I was down there for a week, looking to shave a quarter. Atlas gave us an exclusive look into his new deathmatch map that he is working on. I can't wait to play on this thing. It's basically a mini golf track stranded in the deep dark rain in the middle of nowhere in the void probably. This is going to be so fun in deathmatch. It looks really good and thank you for this early insight in what you're working on Atlas. Yes, you saw that correctly. Stupid idiot is making an entire boss fight in his Bone Lab campaign map. This is phenomenal. I, I never fail to be surprised by the modders of this game. There's no collision on this wall. Uh oh. Oh, there goes. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I can confirm. There is no collision. Have you been wanting some Halloween props and gadgets in your bone lab? Well, now you can with Babacorp's new Babaween props mod. First off, we have these amazing jack o' lanterns, which can actually project light, which is really cool. We also have a shadow grenade, which you can throw and make a massive gas cloud with weird, scary whispers inside of it, and it's a pretty damn cool item. And our final item, well, our final item is a jump scare mine. That's right, if you step on this mine, you don't get blown the hell up, you get jump scared. I don't want people to have this. I don't want to know what's gonna happen in fusion with this. I'm scared. <laughs> Welcome to my laboratory in the wonderful DM Dead Sea by Babacorp. This is one of my favorite death matches, if not my favorite death match in the entirety of Bone Lab. It just looks amazing. It's got a great aesthetic, really good death match map. I recommend you guys check it out. But hey, hey, what's all this stuff that we have on the tables here? Well, I've already told you about the Babaween bundle mod. What about all these super cool custom weapons? Now, this is the Call of Duty Halloween Mega Pack. This mod consists of very many skins on top of some really awesome weapons. Thank you to Drax for submitting this for us. The custom weapons are a lot of fun, and I was so pleased to see that the nails on the side of the nail gun can actually stab enemies. This is just so cool. I thought there was no way this would have been added, but when I checked it out and found out that it was real, I was so excited. Really great skins, really great weapons, absolutely great mod. And with all that said, why don't we finish off today with a nice little montage. My peasant here. Today, I'm going to be chugging Ranch Soda. It's the Bone Lab Peasant. Hey guys, it's the 
the bone knife peasant. I just chugged ranch soda. Wait, wait. Right here, I okay? I, do my I want you to leave. But man, we can talk this through. Get out. Thank you so much to all of my supporters. Gunner DeHaan, Ten Tickles, Zeromatic, Pie Lover, Mizzy Keen, Dank Mean Boy, Perch Fly Fox, Ginger and Chris, Ninja Gamer, Fernando Urista, Oddo, Sage of Kindness, Flamsy, Coles Tunes, Mystery, Leal Doe, The Best Eevee, and Flip the Flopper. You guys are the best.